<clears throat> Hello YouTube. This video, it is uh, mainly addressed to those people who claim to be Christians. Of course, anybody can call themselves a Christian. Doesn't mean they are a Christian, and it certainly doesn't mean they act like a Christian should. Now, this video in particular, it's about spanking, and should Christians spank? Now, a lot of people, they do claim that, yes, that Christians should spank, that Christian parents should spank their children, and that, in some cases, even school teachers and administrators should spank students. In some schools where they use corporal punishment, that's where they will, uh, where, where school officials will hit students on the, will spank students on the rear end, with wooden boards called paddles, such as this one right here. Now, lots of people, they will use scripture from the Bible to justify this. They will say, they will claim that, that through the Bible, that God not only justifies spanking, but that he commands it. And that if you don't spank your children, that you are defying God. No matter how well behaved your children are, if you don't spank them, you are defying God. And I'm aware of the passages, certain parts of Scripture, particularly in the book of Proverbs, where it talks, where it says you used to beat your child with a rod, etc., etc., etc. And, however, I'd like to make some points. First of all, nowhere in the Bible, nowhere in the Bible, does it say for teachers to spank. Only parents. Only parents does it mention uh, to use a rod, and as a matter of fact, it only mentions the dad using the rod. Although I can see if spanking is used, that in some cases why the mom might do it, but nobody else, no, nobody other than the mom or dad does, does the Bible justify spanking children. So nowhere does it say for school teachers or school administrators to paddle children. Nowhere. I also like to point out, and this is very important, all you Christians, all those who claim to be Christians, I'd like to point this out and, and hear me out on this. This is very important. Nowhere, nowhere in the Bible does it say that the target area is the butt. E even in those passages where it does talk about using a rod, nowhere does it say that the rod is to be applied to a child's butt. And as a matter of fact, in biblical times, spanking did not exist the way it does today. In, in biblical times, yes, people were sometimes flogged or whipped, but that was always done across the back above the waist. Striking the buttocks did not come along until much, much later on as a European thing. So nowhere in the Bible does it justify striking a child on the rear end. And that wasn't even done in biblical times. That, that came on later on. As somebody once said that the buttocks and genitals are private parts, and that as soon as a, as a child is potty trained, that parents have no business being down there whatsoever. After all, you wouldn't strike a child in the genitals, would you? So then, why strike them on the butt? It's a private area, just like the genitals. You know, spanking is sexual. It's often done as a sex a form of sex play between couples, and it's often used in pornography. Nerves from the buttocks, they go directly to the parts of the brain that control sexuality. This just goes to show you the sexuality behind it. And if you want good spanking tools, if you want to find a good spanking tool, you go to a porn shop. They've got tons of spanking ones there. Everything from riding crops, switches, paddles, like this paddle here, you name it. And uh, th this very paddle, I got this at a porn shop. Now, I'm not a fan of porn. I don't like porn shops. Usually I don't go to porn shops. I only got this at the porn shop, this paddle here. I only got it at the porn shop because that's the only place I know where you could get paddles. And uh, <laughs> to expose the sexuality behind spanking, the fact that you get stuff like that at porn shops. So, uh, all you Christians out there, that's something to take into account. The sexuality behind strike, you know, when striking a child on the rear end. And I don't think the Bible <laughs> would ever approve of that, you know. I don't think the Bible would ever approve of doing sexual things to children as a form of punishment. I can't find any passages in the Bible that say to strike a child's butt. Can you? Point it out for me if you can. Now... I'd like to conclude this video by saying I'm not out to ban spanking altogether. 
to try to ban spanking if we were to pass a nationwide law or if we were to try to pass a nationwide law that says that parents cannot even spank small children, if we tried to do that, that would not be realistic to, to do that. It would just create such a huge backlash, it would never pass. So I'm not out to ban spanking altogether, but I do think we should have some controls on it, we should have some regulations. We should do what Canada did. I think Canada sets a really good example. In Canada, uh, corporal punishment in schools is outright banned. So they cannot paddle or spank students in schools whatsoever. That is completely banned all throughout Canada. As for parents, in, the, in Canada, a parent cannot spank a child who is over the age of 12. So in Canada, you can't paddle students in school and parents cannot spank children who are over the age of 12. I see no reason why the United States can't do that same thing. After all, in Canada the teen pregnancy rate is one-third of what it is in the United States. So I think Canada sets a really good example and I think we should follow in their example. So anyway, uh, thank you all for watching this. Uh, go ahead and leave comments to all you Christian parents out there who believe in spanking. I would like to hear your input. Uh, Go ahead, leave a comment, make a video response, send me a message, whatever. I'd like to say thank you all for watching this video. Bye-bye.